Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Razorback Off-Road. I'm here today to talk you through the install of our new cargo rack for the 2021 and up Polaris Razor Trail and Trail S machines. If we take a look at the table here, we've got all the tools, hardware, and parts we're gonna need for this install. Okay, tools you're gonna need for this install, 7 16 box end wrench, 3 8 socket, extension, and a ratchet. For the sake of the video, I'll use an electric ratchet just to speed things along. Then we've got your bag of hardware, four pairs of clamps, legs, brackets, and adapter brackets. Biggest piece here, basket itself. First thing we wanna do is get our legs put together. So you're gonna grab a leg section and a bracket. Hardware here is all the same. Just grab as you go. We'll get our tools put together so we can get rolling. Grab two bolts, two nuts. We'll get our first one put together. There will be a little bit of parts juggling. You'll see quite a bit of it as we go. Bolts in, hold it in place for me. Underneath, get our nuts started. Important to note here, bolts need to go in from this side so they don't interfere with the tubing on your roll cage when we go to install it later. Okay. Get our wrench on the first side. Buzz it down snug, but not tight. Make your ratchet go the right way. And what we'll do here is take the time, make sure it's nice and straight and square before we tighten down the second bolt. Good to go. We'll repeat this for the second leg. Next step we'll do is get our upper clamps and brackets installed. For that, we'll need some more hardware, our ratchet, our box end wrench, and the tool that I forgot to mention earlier because it's always just on my belt, a tape measure or a ruler. Grab some hardware. Okay, our first pair of brackets and our first adapter for the basket. We'll come over here. Get our parts and pieces laid out. We'll make some important notes on this. This is the next piece of our parts juggling that we'll have to do. So when you get this installed, you can have the notch in between the bars of your rack, okay? And it'll sit on the outside of your clamp stack. Okay, so bracket on the outside, first clamp, roll bar goes here, second clamp, and then we bolt through the whole thing. So we'll grab our first bolt, Get it sandwiched together. Bolt from the outside. You have a nice clean appearance. No stud, no nut. Get the first nut started. Grab our second. Get started. Third. Now it's gonna seem like things are a little bit tight, but don't worry, you just get the nuts barely started so they'll hold. And then as we start to tighten things down, it'll pull everything together. You'll find that the hardware is indeed the right length. Just get it started so it'll hold itself on the cage. Next thing to do, Grab your tape measure or your ruler. We're gonna measure two and a quarter inches from this seam on the roll cage. 
we'll drop this down. Two and a quarter inches. That's our good starting point. It might move a little bit, but that's a good starting point, okay? Get this about level so it's pointed across at the other side of the cage. Okay, once you've got this where you want it, we'll move on and put the lower leg assembly on here. Grab our leg. They are directional. Solid side goes to the outside, like so. Open toward the inside, flat on top. Okay, so grab this, our clamps, some hardware, and head over there. And just like the top clamps and bracket, we're gonna get all this started where it'll hold itself together. Some more parts juggling will happen. And I'll give you another measurement to get you in the ballpark, okay? Set these together. This side goes on the bottom. Okay, it takes a little bit to get everything held together in place. We'll get our first bolt in there, get a nut started. Okay. Same on the opposite side. Okay, and then we'll tap and move this around into position. And what you're gonna wanna do is get this nice and level to the ground. And we're gonna move this down the tube so you get a measurement of 11 and a half inches between the clamps. We'll have you come in and take a closer look and we'll get that measurement. Okay, so we have both clamps on now. The leg is holding itself, which is good, but it's still loose so I can move it. Now I can measure 11 and a half inches from inside this clamp to inside this clamp. So we're a little bit short, just tap it down the way and we get to about 11 and a half. I'm slightly over, but that's okay. We'll probably have to move it again anyway. Okay, now that we've got these two on, we're gonna repeat the process for the opposite side of the cage and I'll meet you back here when it's time to put the basket on. Now that our upper brackets and our legs are installed loosely, we're ready to throw the basket up there and get a couple bolts put in it. Now, as I place the basket, I'm looking through the front to those bolt holes in the back to get them aligned at the back of the basket. What I can do then is slot a couple of bolts in, one on each side, and it'll hold the basket for me while I get the rest of my hardware in place. Now that we got the basket in place with a couple of bolts just slotted in to hold it there, we can go back through and slot in all the rest of the bolts that we need to hold this down. That remember, there's no nuts on the basket yet. It's just bolts to hold it in place. Once we have all of them in, we can go back through with our nuts, get those on there, take our next couple of steps. So we started with just the two top bolts. We'll put the bottom bolts in. Again, you might have to move things as you go just to get the clearance right. Come down here. If your leg is not in the right spot, you can move it in or out, up or down. Those numbers I gave earlier are just a good starting point. Gotta move the leg a little bit, get that one in. That one's slotted in place. See, this one's not aligned, so I gotta do that now. Go. All of our bolts are in place. Now I go around, get all the nuts started, and then we can tighten down the whole basket. Then we'll tighten down the legs and we'll be all good. Couple things worth note, a couple of these bolts, particularly the bottom bolt at the back end of the basket and the farthest back bolt on each of these legs, you will likely have to back that bolt out a little bit to get that nut started. So I reach back over here. As you can see, I've got that bolt backed out a little bit. It gives me some more clearance on the backside to get that nut started. 
top bolt doesn't have the same clearance issues, so I can leave it where it is. Okay. Now we'll move back to the leg here. And for this, I like to use the box end wrench. We've got flanged nylock nuts, holds it nicely. So we can get to this furthest back bolt that again, you'll have to lift up a little bit to get the nut on there. And then I just twist the bolt in there to get it to start. And then you can either by hand or with the wrench, get that one on there. And we'll repeat this process for the other side before we tighten down the whole basket. Now that your basket is fully tightened down, we can go back around and tighten all our legs and all our back clamps. One thing to note as you're tightening down these leg clamps, is when I put my wrench over the end and tighten it down, I want to feel the threads or the end of the bolt start to come through. That means you've got the nylock completely engaged. Now that we've got everything tightened down, it's a good idea to go around one more time, check all your bolts, make sure everything is nice and tight, and then you're ready to go. Thanks for watching our install video, but check us out at RazorbackOffRoad.com, and we'll see you out on the trail.